Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at flat rate loans. This is the initial to, uh, uh, chapter, I guess, out of the book that we're looking at at school. So flat rate loans. Well, hopefully you remember flat rate loans to be the same as simple interest. Now, we've done these for many, many years, probably since around about year seven or year eight. But primarily in the, in the uh, preliminary course, we did a lot on simple interest, which was I equals PRN, which can be found on your formula sheet. Remembering that the I represents the interest earned that was last year. In this case, because it's a loan, it'll be the interest that we owe or have to pay. P is referring to as the principal amount or the original amount. Um, R is our interest rate, often as a decimal. And our N is the number of years that's, that's being charged. So for example, let's say we're going to borrow $1,000 at 10% per annum. We're being told that it's at a flat rate for, let's say, five years. So what does that actually mean? Well, hopefully you remember that flat rate or simple interest means that we are going to be charged the, uh, the interest rate on the initial amount. So in this case, we're being charged 10% of the initial $1,000, which is $100. So for every single year that I'm having this loan, I'm being charged $1,000 on top. So because I'm having this loan for five years, that means I'm being charged, oops, that should be $100, sorry, five lots of $100, which becomes $500. So not only am I borrowing that initial $1,000, but I'm also being charged on top of that $500 as well over that amount of time. So um, how much interest am I, being, am I being charged? Well, that's the $500 there. And then how much do I owe? Well, I owe, at the end of the five years, I owe $1,500. They could ask you to find out equal monthly repayments. In that case, I would divide the answer, uh, or the, that $1,500, by five lots of 12 months. But there's a whole host of uh, questions that they can ask us, or ask us to answer on top of that. Also remembering that your formula for simple interest or flat rate will be on your formula sheet. So let's look at some questions and it might be a good idea at this stage if you would like to pause and have a crack at some of these questions um, and then you can have a go at, uh, at watching the answers. Okay, so Abby applied for a flat rate loan of $40,000. Well, that's the first important piece of information. At 9% per annum, that's the next important piece of information. Um, and simple interest, which is obviously very important because we might have compound interest um, later on. She plans to repay the loan after two years and six months. So that's going to be 2.5 years. So you can see I've underlined the important information. The first question says, how much interest will be paid? Well, straight away, I see that simple interest and I'm writing down I equals PRN. If you would like to write down things like P equals 40,000, you might like to write down that R equals 0 0.09, it's per annum, and we know it's per year for the number of payments. And we know that our N equals 2 in 6 months, so 2.5, uh, because 6 months is half of a year. Now, if you write that information out there, that's quite useful, because when I'm asked to find out how much interest we're paying, we're doing I equals my 40,000, times my 0 0.09 times my 2.5. Now when we talk about working out, the very minimum working would be that first line there. Okay, This stuff here which I've written out, that's just there to help me. Um, that's up to you whether you do that, but certainly that first line there is expected. Therefore, I would simply mop, put that in my, in my calculator chuck it in to get the answer in this particular instance of $9,000. So that's how much money that I'm being charged when borrowing this $40,000 over that two and a half year period. So then we come to the second answer, or the second question, sorry. What is the total owing at the end of the two years and six months? Well, I borrowed that initial $40,000 
that's my total amount that I borrowed, I'm being charged an extra $9,000 for being able to borrow that amount. Therefore, I owe $49,000. So a pretty straightforward question, um, but making sure that they, the first question they asked for the interest, the second question they asked for the total amount. Remembering too that you could use the, the formula A equals um, P, uh, often it's uh, P minus R or in this case it's P plus plus I. That's for a loan repayment but to be honest with you, I don't really use that formula, it's just common sense. Okay, going on to example two now. Noah applied for a flat rate car loan with an interest rate. Well, before I move on, just like I was doing before, it says a flat rate car loan, interest rate of 9% per annum. He was told the total simple interest would be, okay, so this 6,300 is the simple interest and the N is for 3.5 years. So I guess if you're writing out some important information, we've got here uh, for our I equals P R N. Well, we were told that the I, the simple interest, would actually be $6,300. We were told that the interest rate was 0.09, and we're being told that our N is 3.5 years. So this question is a bit more challenging because you're being asked to find the P. So if I put that information into my formula, we have our P times 0.09 times 3.5. Now from this point forward you have some options. You might like to on your calculator do 0.09 times 3.5, find the answer and then obviously the opposite of times would be to divide. So we divide the other side. Um, let's do that. So 6300 equals P times and we chuck into our calculator 0.09 times 3.5 that comes out with 0 0.315. Now, because I want to isolate P by itself, it's separated by times. So if we divide both sides by 0 0.315, we're left with P is equal to, and again, 6,300 divided by that, um, that amount, which gives us $20,000, which is Again, not such a challenging question. Now, what you may have done, which is no dramas at all, you might have originally just pulled the 0.09 and the 3.5 to the left-hand side and done some sort of calculation like this, 6300 divided by 0.09 times 3.5. That would be the same thing. You might have even done this in your calculator. 6300 divided by 0.09, pressed equals, divided by 3.5, and again, that would generate the exact same answer as $20,000, so pretty straightforward. Okay, now coming on to my last question, I know it says example four there, my apologies. Uh, it should be example three, I guess. I might put a little white one there. Example three, um, Jessica, wishes to buy a lounge uh, suite priced at 2750 Okay, well that's some important information there. She chooses to buy it on a terms of paying a 10% deposit. So I'm gonna put 10% deposit, underline the whole lot, and she's gonna borrow the balance. Now the balance is always the amount that you, I guess, have not actually borrowed. The balance is the amount that you are, you are actually borrowing, minusing the deposit, etc. Interest is charged at 11.5% per annum on the amount borrowed. Jessica makes fortnightly repayments and over three years. So a few things going on there. Um, now in that question, did it talk about simple interest? Well, at looking at that, I can't really see much about simple interest or flat interest, but hopefully because we can't, or hopefully we remember, because we can't see the word compounding, then we know it needs to mean flat rate or simple interest. So automatically I know that my, my formula that I will be using at some stage is I equals PRN. So first of all, because um, it's asking to find the, the actual question says calculate the fortnightly repayments, we need to figure out how much she has borrowed in total. So we know that the original price was $2,750. That's how much it cost, but she didn't actually borrow that amount because she made 
a 10% deposit. So on our calculators, if we type in 2750 times 0 0.1, this is how much deposit we're going to have. $275. I'm going to write there so everyone knows that it's my deposit, including the marker. So what we need to do to figure out how much I am borrowing, we're going to subtract the $275 from the amount that it cost. Okay. So if I do that, we're going to come up with $2,475. That's how much I am actually borrowing. So when we're figuring out my fortnight repayment, we are, of course, not just borrowing that $2,475, but we're being charged interest. Okay. And we know that interest has been charged 11.5%. So this is where my I equals PRN comes from. So for my interest being charged, we know that our principal that we are borrowing is a $2,475. We're being a charged interest rate of 0 0.115 or 11.5 over 100. And we're doing this for three years. Now, I know it says monthly repayments, but that's only going to help us when we figure out how much we're paying each month or fortnight, should I say. So for my next question, I'm going to be typing that uh, that answer in or that question in, sorry, times it by three, and then we get an interest of $853.88. Now, remember, it's always two decimal places with money at all times. Okay. All right, so how much do I owe? Well, we borrowed the $2,475, which was the cost of the suite, less the deposit. And I'm being charged $853.88 because that was my interest that I was charged for actually borrowing that amount. So we actually owe them in total $3,328.88. Now that might be the answer if that's what the question asked. But I'm going to come back to the, my question which was in green to say, okay, well that's how much I owe. Is that what they have asked for the total amount? No, they haven't. It says calculate her fortnightly repayments. Well, what I need to do is divide this amount because this amount is over a three year period. So I can either divide this by 3 times 12 because, oh, actually, no, not times 12, no mistake, that'd be, that'd be monthly repayments, 3 times 26 because there are 26 fortnights in a year. So I could do that in my calculator, divide it by 3 lots of 26. You might just do 3 times 26 on its own and then divide by that amount. But either way, we end up getting $42.68. You may have also had done this calculation, 3328.88. You may have divided by 3 to start with to get per year, and then divided by 26 to get per fortnight. Either way, that would be your answer again. I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of that, and we now have $42.68 as going to be our final answer there. Now, I hope this has helped you guys. Um, please go on with exercise 1A if you have not done so. That is the first lesson for um, FM4 for the General 2 HSC course. Any questions, please feel free to uh, drop me a line. Thank you.